Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Today? I'm fine, thank you. All right. Well, okay. Good afternoon. <laughs> we start again. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Same. Good. How are you doing today? I'm fine. That's great. All right. So, tell us a little about yourself. Yeah. <sighs> Your name. What you do in the community? I'm George Wade. I've been here my entire life, and I'm one of eight generations of Wade to live in the town of Lagrange. That's awesome. <laughs> my great granddaughter's moving next month and she'll be the eighth. Wow. Uh, my family came here early 1800s. i guessing that they were farmers. Uh, they were here for just a short period of time and then they decided that they would uh, raise animals to deliver their cut up and to deliver to their neighbors, mm -hmm. the horse and buggy and all that kind of stuff. And uh, that was where they started and eventually we were in business for 150 years before we closed. Wow. Closed in 1990. Combination of a lot of things. Um, my family's been involved more so in the church next door than the community mm -hmm. until mm -hmm. they got to me. <laughs> they were, I have a grand, great grandfather who was a member of that church in 1850. Oh, cool. And cool. probably before that, because that was the last, the only record I could come up with. Uh, I've been a member. 60 some odd years. I've been an elder, I've been a deacon. My father was an elder. Matthew's an elder for 28 years. My wife was an elder. My daughter is now an elder. That's <laughs> awesome. Uh, a lot of kind. My grandmother was student then of Sunday schools back in the 18 or back in the 20s. Mm -hmm. um, so we, that was basically what our family was interested in, involved in the church. And, and then when I came home from flunking out of college, what the heck, that's what I did. Uh, I got involved in the recreation program in the town, <clears throat> and I managed the first minor league team, the first Big Roof League team. Uh, I umpired, I coached, I was president of the Little League, chairman of the Recreation Commission, and uh, involved in all, any phase of baseball that was going on in the town of Grange. And I was one of four people who started the girls softball program. Oh, nice. Um, I've had some friends in that. We had um, two girls want to play, one of the parents who want, want to be involved. And one of the ladies that I knew on the record was willing to manage the team, and I scheduled the field, so we had no problem there. I went a little late to get some money for uniforms, and they told me no, and we didn't leave. I didn't leave on really good terms, but we had a meeting later that month, and we all threw twenty dollars on the table and bought the girls' shirts, and the program was started. That's awesome. <laughs> so, second half of that question: What's your favorite book? I do not have a favorite book. I read a lot, but I don't have a favorite book. Do you have a favorite genre? Pardon? Do you have a favorite genre, like fiction, non-fiction, uh, sci-fi? Fiction. All right. Mysteries. Yeah. Oh, mysteries. Like yeah, yeah, nice. I read. I did quite a lot. In the last few years since I read, well, semi-retired, I've done a lot of reading. Before that, I was too, great, hey. too, too busy to read. <laughs> yeah, I know that. I know that feeling. I, I was now almost every... Almost every night of the week when I was coaching and playing softball, mm -hmm. and then of mm -hmm. course when I got on the town board, there was all those meetings, and then as a supervisor, it was yeah too many meetings. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've already spoken about you know how your family came here. Do you think um, have you found why your family chose to come here? Where did they come from? Uh, I don't know why they chose to come here. My f um, mother's family was Dutch. My father's family was uh, English. Mm. Uh, apparently a sea captain some way way back, but why they line up in Dutchess County, I really don't know. Why they went out of the town of Grange, I don't know. Uh, I have no knowledge of that. Um, beyond that, I, I really can't tell you. Mm. Um, Still, um, it's awesome that you have all this history. <laughs> well, you know? And my wife's family goes back almost as far, probably as far as I do. My family does. And somewhere in my house, I have authorization or proof that my wife was related to the first child born after the Mayflower landed, Peregrine White. Neat. <laughs> That's so cool. I'd have cool. to really go looking for it, yeah. but it's there <laughs> somewhere. But anyway, um, a lot of history in the town. We've been part of it for almost probably as long as the town's been here. And yeah. I, I would say maybe we've been involved for 200 years, but... I would be stretching my imagination a little bit to make it 200. I know they're here in 1840 because that's when they started the meat business. Mm, mm -hmm. So uh, up till then, who knows? That's awesome. <laughs> What's your favorite place in LaGrange? Freedom Park. That's a great choice. Um, every building up there, with the exception of the new bathroom, was put up by volunteers. Wow, that's and, awesome. And I worked on every single one of those buildings, part of 
the Lions Club built the. I'm trying to remember the Lagrange Lions Club, the only one left. We built the man shell. The Arena Lions Club built up the pavilion when the cook pit, new kitchen. We built the two clubs built the building up on the hill, and the Lions Club put up the ball field pavilion. Oh. The roadie put up the concession stand. The only day I worked on it, they were up and they were shingling, and I helped shingle the front of the roof. And the reason why I did that, they had a little platform at the top was full of cold beer, so I figured it'd be a good day to help them. <laughs> <laughs> well, as someone whose family has been here for so long, what do you think is significant to you about the town of LaGrange? Uh, people are willing to volunteer, willing to get involved in things. It's not as much now as it was you know, a few years ago. But we always said, uh, you know, if you, you wanted to do something, people are always willing to help you. Mm -hmm. Worry about the money, lady. You can always get people to help. I mean, look at Freedom Park. We, I can't tell you how many people up there worked on that. And they weren't all members of clubs. If they had a day and there was nothing going on, I knew somebody was a lion or rodent. They showed up and worked for a day. Uh, and, and you look at the Little League and girls softball and all these programs, people are still volunteering to do these things. I think that's, that's amazing that, that amazing. people keep doing that. And, and it's harder today with both fam people working in the family, but still... We have no shortage of volunteers that run these programs, That's regardless of awesome. what they are. Whether yeah. it's soccer or football or baseball, it doesn't matter. We have people who want to get out there and, and put in the time to make a program run. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so last question. And we kind of came upon this question during something that we did a couple of years ago called Community, community Conversations. Mm -hmm. So how do you think LaGrange can foster a stronger sense of identity? I thought about that when it came to me the other day. We need town center to go. Mm. We need to do the little streets, the little little stores. People can shop in the Grange and not have to go to the City of Poughkeepsie or South Road. Mm -hmm. uh, people can walk around and say hi to your neighbor. Not today. I, I don't know my neighbors. So I wave sometimes. I don't even know who lives next door anymore. Used to be new everybody in the road. Well, if you had mm -hmm. a town center, people could congregate. You could have mini parades. Uh, you could all kinds of things in a in a community center. That you can't do. We don't have any community. We have we have hamlets scattered all over the country, mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. and there's you know small, but there there's no sense of community involvement. If you had if town center developed and you you had uh, uh, homes and condos and little stores and sidewalks and stuff that people could walk onto, I think it would really bring the community together. I think that's the biggest thing we lack is that center location says this is Lagrange. Mm -hmm. It's not Freedom Plains. It's not Moore's Mills or Billings. It's the Grange, mm -hmm. and, you know, yeah. and, and it, uh, the paper, they print things about Arlington High School in, 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 in uh, LaGrangeville. Oh, well, it's in the Freedom Plains, it's not in LaGrangeville. <laughs> I, I, my sister and brother lived on the corner of Freedom and Kramer Road. Mm -hmm. It had a mailbox on Kramer Road, the hill came from Poughkeepsie. The one on Freedom Road came from Pleasant Valley. Mm -hmm. And with the leaves off the sea, off the trees, you could see the the Grange of the Post Office, who didn't deliver to anybody here. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure why the zip codes are quite like that. It, it is. It's just the way it developed. I mean, yeah. the post office in the Grange was in, in, in the Grange Well, somehow they moved it up here, mm -hmm. which didn't make any sense to me, but they didn't ask me. But it, that's the way it worked. In the corner, it's Pipsy, Pleasant Valley. Mm -hmm. And there's the Grange of the Post Office. <laughs> <laughs> well, Thank you so much oh, for welcome. doing this interview. Not a problem. I'm, you know, very thankful. Sure. It's great that we have, you know, so many historians in Lagrange. Yep. You know, it's wonderful. My father did one of these 40 years ago, and I think the library's lost it. Uh, it was a tape or um, something. Oh, no. Um, it's like somebody asked me if I knew Dr. Fink, and I said no. I, I knew who he was, where he mm -hmm. lived, mm -hmm. and then I listened to my father's tape, and he delivered my father. <laughs> That's awesome. So you know, he he did a lot. Of, he did I say probably forty years ago, maybe longer mm -hmm. now. You know, and we gave it to the and went to the library. Went and was down on Freedom Road in mm -hmm. fifty five. Nice. I also gave your librarian a contract um, between the historical society and the library because mm -hmm. it started at the Little Red Schoolhouse. Yes. That was the original library. That's yeah. where it started. It mm -hmm. didn't last long, but that's where it started. I came across the contract a couple of years ago and was cleaning out some of the stuff in the schoolhouse. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Is there another open house soon? Yes, coming up? September 21st. 
September 21st. Yeah. All yeah. right. Sounds I was, great. We were very happy. We had probably 40 people show up at the last one. Wow. I was very, cool. very, very, very pleased that people showed up to see what the school house looked yeah. like. Yeah. What time? One, to, th one to three. It's a Sunday one afternoon. One to three. Yep. Sounds yep. good. I'll um, be there. It's um, very happy to have people come in and look. We've worked very hard to keep it in shape. Mm -hmm. It's at the last, last schoolhouse that looks like a schoolhouse in the Grange. Mm -hmm. At one point in time, we had 12 one room schoolhouses and 13 teachers. Wow. <laughs> There's, there's one got sick, he had somebody to fill in. Yeah. I've also <laughs> got, if you come, you, I've got sheets printed up of what teachers were expected of them in 1872. Mm -hmm. And I've shown cool. a couple of friends that were teachers and they just laugh. You're more out of, you know, bring yeah, in a, coal full of, a shovel full of coal, bucket of water, trim the wicks, make sure everything is, and then you do, it was all about morality and so on and so forth. You couldn't be married. And at the end of the year, if you were really good, you got a 25 cent a week raise if the school board approved. <laughs> uh, all right, well, thank you so oh, much welcome. for doing Glad this to interview. Do it. Glad to do so, it. Glad to do it. Great to see you. No problem. All good. Right.